At one time, the Trump administration billed this as a new beginning in relations between Washington and Beijing. China, they said, would help rein in North Korea's nuclear program. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson. But now in tweets, statements, and a new report, signs the U.S. president is losing patience. The Secretary of State announcing that the U.S. now believes China is among the worst offenders on the planet when it comes to preventing human trafficking, pointing to forced labor by North Korean citizens in China. The North Korean regime receives hundreds of millions of dollars per year from the fruits of forced labor. Responsible nations simply cannot allow this to go on and we continue to call on any nation that is hosting uh, workers from North Korea in a forced labor arrangement to send those people home. The Chinese foreign ministry forcefully pushed back. China resolutely opposes the U.S. making thoughtless remarks according to its own domestic law about other countries' work in fighting human trafficking. The State Department tried to downplay the prospect that this was meant to send a political message, insisting they were just following the facts. So the minimum standards that are in the law don't really allow for consideration of strategic relationships or other, or other uh, factors. Former U.S. Ambassador on Human Trafficking Mark Lagan says this new designation is likely to impact China's behavior. Different countries have responded to a, a low ranking of tier three um, quite intensively. Israel or even Cambodia, which doesn't have as friendly a relationship with the United States when they, there was a prospect of getting tier three, really wanted to figure out what it needed to do to, to fix the problem. I don't know that China will be quite so assiduous in its efforts, but it, it is not immune to the reputational impact as a business partner, as an economic partner, um, of this assessment from the United States. Um, this, this really means something. Now, this designation can come with consequences, namely sanctions, but it's not automatic. The White House goes through a 90-day review, and then the president decides if China will face consequences for what the U.S. sees as its failures in human trafficking. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.